Okay, violins, let's talk three octave scales for a second. When you get into high school next year and you're still in orchestra, um, all of your scales are going to be three octaves. Um, the scales that we've been doing and the scales that you did for all region this year are only two octave. So, um, by, if, you can, if you can think about what that means for a second, it means that um, every scale that we do is going to have just a little bit of shifting in it. And some scales are definitely going to have a lot more shifting than others. So, let's go ahead and start with just our G major scale, okay? Um, you already know the bottom two octaves, so I'm just going to play through those real quick and we can then work on the top octave slowly and get it in our fingers. So, um, starting on our G string, you, you guys already know this scale. <laughs> Easy enough, two octave G scale, it's your lowest scale. Um, F sharp, uh, high, two on your, high two on your D string, make sure that, that F sharp is there. And a low two C natural on your A string and a low two G natural on your E string. So um, the top octave is a little bit trickier and if, there's, if there comes a point in this video that you need to stop the video and practice this for a little bit, that's totally fine. Just place me on pause. I'll be here when you get back, okay? So, just to walk you through this, let's start on this top octave right here. So we're gonna start on this low two G right here on your E string, okay? Then you're gonna shift up into third position for A, first finger A, a second finger B, a third finger C natural. Make sure that there's a half step between your second and third fingers, guys. That C natural has to be there. Now. This right here, third, third position, fourth finger tape with your second finger, and then a C natural with your third finger. Your first finger is then going to go up into something called sixth position. So your fourth finger is going to place on D, and your first finger is going to be where your fourth finger is placed, okay? So your first finger is going to go up here to D, second finger E, third finger F sharp, and a fourth finger G. And that's it, okay? The position work is a little bit trickier, but this is all it is. Once you get this, you're home free, okay? So, let's go ahead and take this really, really slow. We're gonna start on second finger G. Shift up to first finger A, second finger B, and a close third finger C. Now, just to get this in your ear, I would play this D with your fourth finger, and then practice shifting to that D with your first finger. That's all it is. That shift is easy enough. Now, when you're way up in position, you can see my hand coming over the shoulder of the instrument, okay? My hand isn't back like this anymore. I'm having to bring my elbow in and around a little bit. Let me, let me stand up so you can see this. My elbow is coming in and around a little bit. Second finger E. Third finger F sharp and a fourth finger G. Notice that my fingers are still curved. My fingers aren't flattened. My arm is coming in and under the instrument so I can get above the notes. Okay. So, go ahead, take a minute, pause the video, practice going through that shift up into sixth position, and practice getting your fingers down. Okay, take a minute to pause. 
Now, let's do that top octave together. Two times on each. We're going to take it super slow. Ready? Ready? Two times. Shift. Second finger. Low three. Shift up. Okay, now let's take that one more time. This time we're gonna go down. We're gonna go down when we go, when we go up. Ready? Two times each again. Ready and shift up. Look at my finger placement. I have a whole step between one and two, a whole step between two and three, and my, my fourth finger is nice and snug to my third. Let's keep this hand shape and let's come right back down. Shift down to third position, build your hand shape. Shift down to a low two. Okay, like I said earlier, if there's a if 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 there's it if, if there's a wow if there's ever a point in this video that you need to stop and practice this, pause it. I'll be here when you get back. Okay, so let's do the whole scale from open G this time, two times on each from open G. Ready. And... Low three, first finger, low two. And there you have it. I know this video is a little bit longer, but that top octave is a little bit tricky. So I wanted to go through that multiple times with you and make sure that we have it. Okay? So, happy practicing. Don't stress. We're just introducing this right now. Okay? It's all right. I know it's a little tricky, but it'll be all right. The more you practice, the better it'll get. All right, violins. Happy practicing. Bye.